Today we've got eight different chili chefs and they're going to be competing for bragging rights and holding the chili bowl for a year. Um, this is our third annual and um, we'll have judges going through. It's more of a people's choice and the judges are just, it's, it's a fun thing. Um, all of our profits today will go straight back to the services we offer at Path of Hope. Well, first thing you have to do is you have to have uh, a good upbringing and you have to be bred to, to, to really judge chili. But I'm from Louisiana and uh, whenever, you, uh, whenever you're born down there, they put red peppers around you in your crib. And then they take you over to New Iberia and let you get a taste of some of that Tabasco. And uh, you know, by the time you grow up, your tongue's okay and, and uh, then you can really judge it. Now we're looking for some good aroma. Uh, in my opinion, uh, if chili don't make you sweat, it ain't chili. It's just ground beef and a broth. Well, you have to know a little bit about eating, which I obviously do. It helps if you've eaten a lot of chili in your life. And what I plan to do is uh, taste each chili, each, each batch as I go along, and uh, try to figure out what's in it, whether the, the proportions of, of the ingredients are done correctly, whether it's good and meaty, got a good meaty taste. and. Uh, Pick that way, eliminate, and try to pick out which one is the very best, and uh, do all that. And then when I get through with that, forget all that. Stephanie Owens, who's one of the contestants, makes my birthday cake every year, and I'm going to try like the devil to figure out which one she made so she'll continue making me good birthday cakes. Path of Hope, we're in Davidson County. We're a nonprofit for adults who are suffering from the disease of alcohol and drug addiction. Um, we serve both men and women. Today we're doing a fundraiser. We have to do many fundraisers through the year. Today's just one of them. Um, anybody that can't come, of course, could make a contribution if they're willing. They can find out more about us on our website, apathofhope.org.